Good afternoon once again. I'm Keith Radford from 7 Eyewitness News. We're taking you through the 716 in two minutes. Police finally getting to the bottom of a murder in Buffalo, the murder of a mother. Police have arrested 31-year-old Lemuel Jackson. She's charged with second-degree murder, attempted murder, and criminal possession of a weapon. They say that she's responsible for the double shooting that killed 26-year-old Santana Anderson. Anderson is the mother of two who was attacked outside of a birthday party on Hagen Street. That was back on August 4th. A 36-year-old Buffalo woman also was caught in the gunfire, but she survived the attack. Buffalo police now looking for a suspect following a shooting on Richlawn Avenue on Sunday night. The victim, a man in his 20s, was taken to ECMC and is now listed in critical condition. So far, police have not released his name. Erie County Fair has officially ended for the 2018 season. It was the second most attended Erie County Fair ever, with more than 1.1 million people traveling to the fairgrounds in Hamburg. It also broke another record, though. The fair is now home to the world's largest wooden bowl. The creators of the massive bowl say that the second largest bowl is currently in Austria, but that one comes in at only 13 feet wide. Time now to check in uh, with Autumn today, see what's up with our seven first alert, most accurate forecast. Well, here we have a hazy afternoon on the way. Temperatures, though, will be warming nicely right back to around 80 degrees. We'll have a southeasterly wind at around 5 to 10 miles an hour. Now, everything does change as we get into our Tuesday forecast. The shot for rain starts to increase, not so much during our evening or early overnight, but early tomorrow morning. Notice as the timeline goes along between 11 and 2, the lull is there in between 2 and 11 o'clock. We have the threat for some strong storms that will uh, bring some heavy rain, wind, and potentially some hail there as well. By Wednesday morning, that threat starts to die down again. Temperatures, though, remain right near 80 degrees through midweek.